I am in the middle of working on our natural rodent repellent system, otherwise known as an owl box. I don't know how dangerous this is. Don't do this at home. Let me show you what's going on. This is very exciting. Good morning, everyone. You're watching the Green Dream Project. Now, if you're new here, my wife and I are building our own earth bag home off grid here in the Arizona desert with our dog, Yuvia, who wants to play tug of war <laughs> and our dog crew. Now, if you caught our last video, you know something big has gone down. Longtime viewers of our channel will know we've had a geodesic dome sitting on our property for the longest time, gifted to us by some friends. And we're finally going to make use of it. Just wants to use this geodesic dome to protect our rainwater harvesting basin. Uh oh. Okay, okay, you win, you win. So we got that moved over, but we still need to put some additions on. I am also in the middle of working on our natural rodent repellent system otherwise known as an owl box. <laughs> now I had to stop working on that because I needed supplies, of course, but I got those supplies. I'm ready to get to work. Let's do it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for owl boxes and especially geodesic domes. So I am back working on the owl box. I made a lot of progress in that last video. I cut the pieces, got them ready, and started putting them together. Now it's all a matter of putting some finishing touches on and getting that to the top of the dome. All right, I'm gonna try and get as much of this recorded as I can. No guarantees on how good this footage is gonna be. It's windy and I'm at the top of the dome. I cut myself some little boards that I can hang up here so I can level off the top of the owl box. All right. uh, I don't want this camera to go flying. tricky up here. It's tricky. Oh, no. Sorry, I gotta turn you away. It's been crazy windy lately, so I have not been able to get as much footage as I would like to up at the top there. Putting a camera about 10-15 uh, feet up in the air with this wind doesn't seem like a good idea. But let me take you up top. Let me show you what's going on. This is very exciting. Get a little view here, mid-range. Beautiful. UV is munching in the basin again. All right, so without further ado, here is the box. It's all hung up, looking good, looking sturdy. Oh, the winds were blowing even super early this morning. Uh, but I had uh, Jess and Peter come up with me. Uh, Peter and I held up the box, just was able to screw it in, and uh, we got everything in place looking very solid. So this box is close to being ready to go. I gotta place some vents in the side, I gotta make some venting holes at the bottom, and I gotta attach the, uh, the front of the box. I just wanna add a couple of hinges so that makes it easy just to kind of flip the uh, front of the box down for easy cleaning, and I need to put something to kind of latch this in place. So I'm gonna start working on that, UV is gonna keep munching on the basin. Let's get to it, y'all. <laughs> Let me get that. Good morning, y'all. So I got some new additions to the owl box, but then I ran into a problem. Of course, right? Gotta get supplies, things go wrong, just like every project, right? Man, I can't complain about the weather though. The weather has been fantastic. A little windy, but uh, nothing too bad. But the view is incredible, especially from up at the eaves. All right, let me show you what's going on. Okay, so this is a two inch hole saw that I picked up from uh, Walmart. It's a Heart Tools brand. And this is what happened when trying to put holes in the, in the owl box. This whole thing just completely separated. It's uh, basically, it's no good, it's junk. This isn't gonna 
hold the hole saw in place to get through the box. So with that heart tools, it's a uh, kind of hit or miss. I, I actually do use some of their products and they do work out, but uh, I bought this whole thing probably for the price of a new Milwaukee hole saw. So buyer beware on, on these. <laughs> okay, so I did have to go out. I picked up other supplies, but then I picked up the Milwaukee hole dozer. The price of this alone was about the price of the whole heart hole saw kit. And it's got a pretty sturdy post. I already had one of those on my four inch hole saw. So let's pull this out and put it on the two inch one. This has a much sturdier lock. So you can see how it fits in there. And the new hole saw is ready to go. Okay, let's take a look inside this bird box, show you what's going on. You can see I've placed 12 holes evenly spaced at the bottom. I think that's mainly for drainage, but don't quote me on that. I'm just going by the book. These are for ventilation. About four inches from the bottom of the board. As you can see the heart hole saw, I got two holes in and then it gave up the ghost. So I'm gonna attach the Milwaukee and uh, we're gonna see how that does. All right. Let's see how the Milwaukee hole saw does. Yep. <laughs> the hole dozer comes through. That was a big difference. All right, let's finish up with the last three holes on this side. Huge difference. Man, this is nice. Makes it a pleasure to put holes in things again. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Jess is going to be happy about this for sure. Of course, Yuvia is, uh, she's exploring and chasing after birds. Yuvi, you chasing birds? So just picked up these things a while back and these should just kind of slip into the holes I just made and it'll provide venting for the, uh, for the box. Oh yeah, slips in there perfectly. These are nice. Hey, -o. we got Jess here with us. Jess is gonna help me for the next phase of this box. We gotta score the uh, the outside of this lid so I can hang it. I don't know how dangerous this is. <sighs> don't do this at home. easier than I anticipated. So you're happy with it? Yeah. Just as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Well. It's, it's your vision I want to create and come to life. It just needs to be functional. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you think it's functional? I think so. I'm good with it. Jess, I did bring a pencil up here. If you want to grab that and you will be in charge of Outlining. She doesn't like beeps. I like beeps. I like no beeps. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. She likes beeps. You guys probably haven't seen too much of me uh, in this video. I haven't said a lot. Not that I usually say too much. To be honest with you guys, I haven't been feeling that great. Some of you might remember that a while back I was having some issues with my teeth and I had some wisdom teeth extracted. It helped the pain for maybe about a month and then it came back and I've been struggling with that. 
recently. It's making things a little hard for me as far as getting things done, it's slowing me down a bit. But we're working on figuring out what's going on and hopefully I can get some relief from that soon. But Jim's been working hard on the owl box, making some good progress. And now I think we're ready to do some painting on the box. So I'm gonna step in. Painting is my specialty, so uh, let's get to work on that. Now the question is, is she gonna let you get to work on that? No, probably not. Yuvi. Yuvi. She's out. <laughs> you got the magic touch. The little delayed response, but she's there. I just want you to know you spoil these dogs. Mama likes to spoil her dogs. You spoiling your babies. So I'm gonna let Jess do the painting. She's much better than I am and she'll make this thing look good. Not that it's uh, gonna be some kind of extraordinary painting. I think you're just painting it white, right? Uh, I might add some other touches to it. What? Uh-oh, careful. Oh, I got bigger. Oh yeah, there we go. So you definitely want this to be like an owl box, right? Yeah, why? I mean, we can't use it as like a uh, up high toolbox, right? No, sorry. <laughs> Some place to store all of our equipment when we're working on the top of the dome? Well, I mean, I guess we could until the <laughs> owls move in. <laughs> To a great start. Probably gonna paint more of this than needs to be painted. Part of it's gonna be covered up by other things. I'm going to at least do the sides and the top and maybe part of the bottom. Protect it from the weather. Oh, by the way, I've been trying to investigate some cameras that might be nice and might work well in here. Like if owls do show up inside there, we kind of need a camera that can just kind of keep running and that can get powered from an external source. So if anyone has any suggestions, leave those down below. We're interested. Do you think it'll help keep it a little cooler too, with the light? Probably not if it's getting covered. I mean, the white really uh, kind of reflects the sunlight, but if the sunlight's not really hitting it, then... Well, like, what about the, the front? Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe, because uh, it'll probably get a little bit of morning light and a little bit of evening light. Yeah, but we have other plans <laughs> to make a little extra covering over it to keep it cooler. And we got plenty of ventilation. Okay, well, I'm just about done here, the painting. Actually not done with the painting, but, but if you want, you could probably put the latches on. Okay, all right.
Uh oh. Just bringing out the specialty brushes. All right, so pretty much the owl box is done, ready to go. Of course, Jess is up there adding her special touches to it. And uh, I love that she has to add a special touch just about to everything we do here. And I love that. It makes it uh, very special, very personalized. And uh, personally, I can't wait to see what she does up there because everything she does is magic. She has also been working hard on the inside. She's been moving along on these walls. She's now up over the arch. Now I got to complete something she wants me to do, which is just kind of create a little bit of a straight back here along the bottom of this window. It'll cover the bags down there. It will provide a little bit of a backrest. Maybe people uh, sitting up there can put some drinks up there, whatever, just a place to put things. So I'm gonna start that. I don't think it'll take me too long. Uh, I can't wait to get back and do some cabin. Oh, earlier, uh, Jess was talking a little bit about, just again, how she's not feeling very well. And kind of how that's been affecting her out here. And let me tell you, I probably don't need to tell you, but Jess is a very strong woman. Very strong, very hardworking. I just, I couldn't have asked for a better partner out here. I really couldn't. A lot of people think that I dragged her out here to, uh, to do live this kind of lifestyle when it, in fact it's actually kind of her idea. And part of my resolve here was to, was to help her put together this dream of ours, kind of became our dream, and kind of work and help support and help build this life out here. Now just saying she hasn't been feeling well and uh, you know, I take that to heart. I know if she's saying that she's in pain and she's showing that she's in pain, I know it's gotta be quite a bit of pain because this is a woman that will suffer silently day in and day out. So I try and do what I can to just kind of help out and alleviate her of some of her problems. You know, in the mornings I get up early, I deal with the dogs. I try and just stay out of her hair in the mornings because I know it kind of takes her a little bit to get up. She kind of has to kind of loosen up. She kind of has to get it, kind of get up slowly. So I just give her a, some space and some quiet time alone so she can just kind of recombobulate. I try to tell her just about every day, just how beautiful I think she is and how much she means to me. You know, I do what I can just a little bit every day just to uh, just to support her, show her I love her. Hopefully that helps ease her burden a little bit. But you know, that's what you gotta do out here. You gotta, uh, we gotta support each other. You look tired, you've been spending a lot of time up there. All finished? Yeah? Uh-oh, time to give him a look. Oh, not good, not yet. <laughs> First thing in the morning. It's late now, sun's going down. Good morning, y'all. Thought I'd bring you out bright and early before the winds start kicking up. We'll head up there and I'll show you what I uh, just did to the box. You gotta see it. Remarkable, isn't it? She never ceases to amaze me. A lot of talent in that woman. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like Yuvia has found something. I see I'm not the only one up bright and early. Oh, hey. I gotta be gentle with her. She, uh, she hasn't been feeling well, but you're feeling better today than you have been in past days. That pain just kind of comes and goes and it's kind of unpredictable, but Either way, it's making uh, makes for getting things done kind of difficult. But we did get things done. We got the owl box up, painted. It's got your welcome mat all uh, painted on there. Hopefully that won't actually scare them away. <laughs> the cool thing about that, having the owl box up there, it's a very own uh, rodent control station. All 100% natural. And uh, Yuvia does her part during the day. She does what she can, but uh, ultimately, this will be good at night if we can get some owls up there. I think it'll be just kind of cool to have them a little place to stay right here. I think we can share our home with them and then they can get rid of the rodents. Yeah. The snakes are just waking up though, so maybe they'll... They'll help too. <laughs> they'll help too. Uh, so what else do we have to do? I'm gonna put some wire over the top of the box and make sort of a covering 
That'll protect it from the sun and the rain a little bit more. Then it'll kind of mesh into the top of the dome. So it'll actually become part of the house. And I'll add some plaster and things onto that. So there were some people that questioned why we're doing that now instead of just continuing on with adding more cob and plaster to the top of the dome. Well, this is kind of part of the roof. It'll sort of like be enmeshed in the the whole top of the dome. So uh, it's kind of important that that gets here so we can kind of continue on working downward. Mm -hmm. So now that I, I built the box and placed it up there, now we can kind of kind of move on with getting the rest of the top of the dome all covered and protected. And the inside walls too. Still making progress on the inside walls as well. You jump in there every now and then, you're kind of all over the place. Kind of over here, over there, up there. You well, just kind of move around. I know that that seems a little scatterbrained and maybe it is a little, but also it, it kind of helps uh, when you're working outside, like it gets pretty hot and you don't want to be working for hours and hours in the, the sun and the heat and then if it's windy it's really hard to work up high there so sometimes it's better to work on the ground or work inside it's all good it's all got to get done uh, and i was able to kind of jump in there working on the bench still and i'm getting that just kind of the back of that bench all straightened out and then eventually i think you want to do some finishing touches on the rocket mass heater bench. I don't know when that's coming. That might be the next major thing I'm focusing on. We're getting it done. One project at a time. Owl box is up and ready to go. We'll catch you in the next video where it might be about working on the bench or doing electrical work or I don't know. Something's going on. <laughs> don't forget to give us a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.